I go no. live. Go with, oh, I think we're live. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We have six puppies left. We're down to six puppies. So eight have gone home. Um, Bobby went home yesterday and Button went home yesterday. Uh, I gotta get better at this. Bobby's name is now Bentley, which isn't that just perfect? That was one thing that was actually on my mind. I know it's a really silly thing, but I've gotten to know him as Bobby so much and I was so attached to him. They picked such a perfect name for him. It's such an easy change from Bobby to Bentley. And he looks like a really solid Bentley. So I'm really happy. She, they almost seemed a little nervous. She even asked if it was okay if they changed it. They're so sweet. They're such a sweet, sweet family. Um, not just Bobby's parents, but um, um, this is the other puppy's name. Now I'm drawing a blank. Um, Elfie. Elfie. Um, so their cousins, the parents of Elfie and Bobby Bentley. Um, and that was actually how Bobby's family found us. Um, so they came with, with for pickup of Elfie. And um, so we got a message this morning, a really cute picture of Bobby in bed with his mom. And they said that um, he ended up working his way into bed with them last night. And so he got to sleep in bed with them overnight. I'm so happy for him. Um, it was, it was, I had a, like all these, I just, I grew so attached to him. It was really hard to think about him. Um, I felt like um, when I was thinking about him going to another family, it felt like I was being cheated on. That's like the only comparison I have, except with his family with his new mom and dad. Um, they're just so enamored with him and he's so enamored with them. Um, I'm just so happy that they they decided to get him. Um, so he was sleeping in bed with them overnight and still snuggling this morning. They said he went outside um, to go potty outside every single time they take him. He's such a good boy. If he was right here, I'd be snuggling him. Instead, I've got Charlotte going up my, my nightgown. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Who's got my toes, Maisie? Who's got my toes? Um, but anyway, so we we also said goodbye to Button, and we got some really nice pictures of Button this morning, too. Um, Button's parents, um, but Button had the zoomies when they came over. She was super energetic, and so she wasn't as cuddly. But one thing I noticed over the course of the hour or so that they were here was that even when she was zoomy and running around, she still always went back to them. Um, a lot of times when we have families over to visit our puppies, um, the puppies will run around and play, and then they'll come and like check in with me and Drew. Um, as sort of like, a, like a reassurance thing. And she would zoom me around and then she would go and check in with her mom and dad. And, um, and I don't know, we had to text them about it because oftentimes families don't really notice until we point it out. Um, just because it's something Drew and I have gotten used to. And um, it was just, it was really sweet. It's always so awesome to see how the puppies respond to their parents. Because it's a different dynamic. Me and Drew, we've got our own pack of little dogs. Um, so we have our own pack of dogs that we're taking care of. And the puppies are just like one little tiny puzzle piece in our family. And so when their parents come over for pickup and um, they have all the attention of their parents on them and only them, you know, they'll, they'll see there, they'll meet them. Puppy's mom and dad will bring out Macchiato and Robin, and we did. But even in the moments, um, Button is learning that her mom and dad they always bring their attention back to her because their focus is her and not the other dogs. Whereas me and Drew, our priority, our our focus is on the adults to you know manage them and then get the puppies where they need to be. Um, and so the puppies learn pretty quickly. Um, who is kind of filling what role. And so when um, when families come over for pickup, they usually figure it out pretty quickly what, what this dynamic is all about and why it's different. You've got my, my watch man, you silly puppy. 
usually buffets. Um, we're slowly converting our house over to Christmas. Christmas is my absolute favorite time of year and I dread Christmas Day because I love the Christmas season. <laughs> and um, so we're slowly turning the house into Christmas. Uh, the puppies are all in one pen, as you can see. So just the one live stream and the one live chat, which is nice because um, we prefer to have fewer live chats because it's just nice to have everybody together in one group. Um, and then we can, uh, whenever we're talking about anything, then it all kind of goes, it goes to everybody and we know that everybody heard the same thing. Um, uh, we're working on our giveaway too. I mentioned it yesterday, but it, I don't think it was at the beginning of the stream. Um, we're, we're doing a giveaway and um, for those who haven't heard about it, it's a basket of toys or it's like a basket with, um, um, the basket is on the way, not everything is here yet. And once it gets starts, things are rolling in this week, um, we'll start putting it together so you guys can see. Um, but it's a dog toy basket about, about yay big and um, it's like a dark gray. Um, and then we're gonna put in there um, some of our staple items that we use with our puppies. So um, we have a snuffle mat coming um, and it's the, the nice stuff like the big snuffle mat. We have two snuffle mats that we use. There's a bigger one and then a smaller one that's a little bit different. Um, and so we have the bigger one coming and that's gonna go in there and we'll put some lamp chops in there. Um, and then we have three merch items that we're gonna give away. Um, there's going to be a tote bag, a mug, and a hoodie. And so whoever wins the, um, the giveaway basket, we're going to let them choose which merchandise item they want. And then for the other two merch items, we're going to do, we're going to draw two more names um, for, for, those, um, for those winners. Um, so we'll have three winners. We'll have um, consolation prizes, I think is the correct term. Um, and so as though everything is rolling in, we will show you guys. Um, but the basket will have, um, I'm trying to think of what else we, we had a few other items that we were gonna put in there. Um, but things that um, we'll probably put in a couple of our blankets that you see in here and we'll put in um, things that look familiar, Red Barn Cavalier live stream stuff. Um, can I help you? Don't, don't, don't break that because then there's going to be beads everywhere. Yeah, and we don't want you to choke. Yeah. Where is it? Oh, here, let me grab our basket so you guys can see about how big it is. So this is the basket that, um, this isn't the exact one we're using. Um, it's just an identical, the, the one that we're doing is, we're gonna do for the giveaway is gonna be a dark gray. I guess this is dark gray, but this is like almost a black. So it looks like this, handles and everything. <laughs> you guys just wanna play with it, or do you wanna get inside of it? You wanna get inside? Um, and so we're gonna, uh, roll up the snuffle mat and stick it in there, and then lamb chop is going to go in there. Um, some blankets, a couple of our, um, a couple toys that, um, the toys with the um, tails, we'll put some of those in there. Um, and then a choice, choice merch item. Um, and then um, for the for the merch items, we I was able to create um, a link on our. It's basically a, when we have our winners, we'll send you a link, and then you click on that link, and it will. If it's the hoodie, for example, then you go to that link and let them know what size, what color. Um, same for the mug; you'll have to choose the handle color, I believe. Um, okay, you guys are just chewing this up now. Well, I thought you were going to get in. Now you're just chewing it up. Um, and then you can put in your address and then they'll just ship it directly to you rather than just coming from us. Um, 
So that'll be nice because it'll just come from directly from the warehouse. Um, but uh, so we'll have that. Everything should be coming in. I think we're expecting between tomorrow and Thursday, we should have all the goodies. Um, and so we'll put it together for you for everybody to see. And then to enter, um, Drew and I, we're going to um, make just a quick, like two to three minute video that just kind of talks about everything I'm saying right now um, so that there's like a, an official place where everything's been laid out and explained. And we've shown you what it is we're um, giving away. And then um, so that we can collect names for the drawing, we'll ask you to comment on the video. YouTube has a lot of weird rules surrounding giveaways, and so we got to be kind of careful. Um, uh, I'm going to be reviewing, going back over those exact terms and conditions to make sure we do it all correctly. But um, I believe so far, as long as it doesn't violate terms and conditions, the community guidelines, um, that's probably how we'll, we'll do it. Uh, but if that doesn't work, then we'll probably move it to our website where we can do it off of our website. Um, because all we really need to do is we just need to be able to collect those who are entering. We need to just collect names is all. So, um, but that you can be on lookout for it, and we'll be communicating during live streams and everything. Um, the drawing we would like to happen um, like mid December, so that um, we can ship it out and get it to you by Christmas. I was thinking December fifteenth, but if that's too early, we'll um, we'll push it back a couple days. So we're kind of playing it by ear right now. So um, stay tuned. But for right now, that's um, that's about as much as we know. So um, we'll keep you guys filled in as we as we move a little bit closer. Hi, Rocky. Rocky gets picked up today. And then I realized he's the only one being picked up. I could have done his little profile picture. Last week, I was doing thumbnails of puppies that were going home that day. And then over the weekend, first I had a migraine and wasn't trying to take a fancy thumbnail. And then the next day we had a couple puppies and that was too difficult. So, and then today I forgot. Rocky, you're a good boy. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. Um, and so all the puppies are in this pen now. All of Remy's puppies have gone home and Remy, um, if you are familiar with Remy's first letter, um, then you probably, you might remember or, or know, you know, upon looking back that, um, Remy seemed to be a little more attached to this letter than her first letter with her first letter. And, and I thought it was probably with Myra. Um, but with her first letter, she was a lot more like how we typically see like around four to five weeks, she started getting more impatient, um, didn't want to be in the pen any longer than she had to be. Um, and this litter, even if she was impatient of the pen, she still always wanted to come be in here. Um, and yesterday, so Bentley went home. Bentley, Bentley, Bentley. Um, Bobby Bentley went home and we were sitting down in the kitchen eating dinner and Remy just starts crying out of nowhere. And she's sitting over by the gate and she's just crying and crying. And then she was putting her snout like up in the air and she was sniffing the air. Like she was sniffing. We think we think she was sniffing for her puppies because um, Bobby left. And um, oh, you know what? I don't think we brought Remy out to see Bobby before he left. We usually bring mom out. Oh, we forgot. I'm distracted with with Bobby going home. I forgot to bring Remy out. Um. So we usually bring mom out just so that she can kind of understand what's going on. Um, a lot of times they don't even care anymore. So they just turn right around and they're just, they're ready to be done and don't need any of that. But I think we underestimated um, how attached Remy was. Um, I even brought her back into the pen over here, um, hoping that, you know, the Myra and Robin puppies would help her feel a little bit better. But she just kind of, she walked around the pen and was like sniffing each of the puppies and they were nursing on her and she was letting them, but she just had the saddest look on her face. Um, you know, the mama dogs, the almost always just, they, they're ready to move on. They, you know, they're, they're biologically built to have this particular type of life cycle. Um, 
And so when things like that happen, when the mom does get more attached and has more like emotionally invested, um, it's just, it's usually really sad to see because it's not typical. It's not what we usually see. Um, and it's hard to watch your dog be so sad and not be able to really explain or, you know, for those of you who do have dogs, you, you know what I'm talking about when your dog is sad and you can't explain to them. Um, and so there's just something that that is even just sucks really hard of knowing that she's got that like motherly sort of bond and her puppies aren't there. That just breaks my heart. But I try to remind myself to not assign human emotions to puppies or dogs. Um, dogs are not capable of the same emotions we are capable of. And so um, they don't necessarily feel everything we are feeling on the other hand. So, but definitely for sure, uh, Remy knows her puppies are all gone and she's not happy about it. She's, she's definitely sad. Um, so it's been a little hard for Remy, but usually when this does happen, it only takes like a day or two and then they get over it. <laughs> they get over it really quickly. Um, the only thing that might be make that an exception to that is the fact that we still have my run Robin's puppies. So, um, you know, if they're serving as a reminder of the puppies she doesn't have, then it might take a little longer. But the opposite can happen too, where she just gets distracted by them and she starts taking care of them and then she sees them go home and then she's okay. So we'll see. Robin right now, I think if we, if all Robin's puppies home, I think she wouldn't even notice. A week ago she would have, but um, I think they're getting rowdy enough for her that she's ready for them to go. Unless they're joining the pack. Because that's the other thing, is if they join our dog pack, then they start respecting the rules and they start minding um, etiquette and then they start behaving as they, as they, as dogs should. And so that's when mom, um, the other condition in which mom does okay and um, is it missing her puppies is when we move ones we're keeping or ones that we're hanging on to over into the kitchen and let them get acquainted with the dog pack. You're such a good boy, Rocky. You go home today. Are you ready to go home? Are you ready to go home? Me it's funny because Mason just put a giant dump like right over here. Drew came over and fed them. Um, it was actually the thumbnail picture. They were all looking at the food tray. If you were wondering at all, they were looking, they were looking at their food dishes. And so they all ate, and then all six puppies went over to the potty tray, except for Maisie. The potty tray was full of big puppies. And so Maisie just like did a couple of circles and started pooping right, right there. And so I think it's fine that she's pooping again. Um, she had a lot of poop. Didn't you, Maisie? Girl, you're such a good puppy. Oh, don't go back to and eat it. Girl. She started licking it. That was so gross. Good morning, Sue. Good morning, Jean. Good morning, Cindy. Good morning, Bella Hart. Beth, good morning. I almost missed you. Good morning, Beth. Oh, Daisy. You're a good girl, Maisie. No, <laughs> you just put your paw in it. Yesterday, May and I gave baths to Paris and Daisy, and they are so soft right now. Dogs. I love having a freshly bathed, fluffy cavalier who smells good and is soft. Hold 
Hey, Jean, um, if you could respond to my text, that would help us in the discussion. Because um, Drew and I are also trying to figure out what the plan is here. Um, so I'm, when you say I haven't been able to have that discussion with them yet, I'm not, I'm a little confused. Um, so if you could message us and just kind of let us know what's going on, we would really appreciate it. Um, but I sent you a message with all like outlining all of your options and how we can, how we can best work this out with you. So um, just let us know. Um, but I'm not sure you, but I haven't been able to have that discussion. Going home. Um, we usually have a couple puppies. I know we have one that is going to be staying for like a week or so. I think overall, I'll double check with your face. Um, and so, I told you. I told you. <laughs> um, and so, we're going to, when we are done to that last one or two puppies, we're going to move them to the kitchen with, hey, hey. Um, the other dogs, and so we'll move the live stream over with um, our pack of dogs. And so, in between um, these guys and our next litter, we're going to have this. The stream is going to be of like our moms that are off season. Um, and then, as we 
Um, we're kind of monitoring them for their heat cycles for our next moms on deck. Um, then the stream will kind of start becoming about their pregnancies. And um, so it's one thing that we actually don't get to feature very much because we usually have puppies. Um, but our pregnant moms are usually, um, they're usually really interesting to follow because they do a lot of silly fun things. Um, and so since we won't have puppies when we have a couple of pregnant moms, um, that's kind of how the stream will evolve over the next few months um, for Christmas. So it'll start with just like the pack of dogs and then we'll be doing some matings. And then um, that'll follow the pregnant moms and then on to the litters, on to the puppers. Right, Daisy Doodle? You're still off, see, you're still an off mom. You don't get to be a mom yet. You can be a, you can be a nanny. You get to be a nanny. You've got to protect that uterus. Keep it in good health. Hey, Jane, I got your message that you sent a text last Thursday. But I'm talking about the text. The I'm talking about the response I sent you yesterday. Um. You sent it because I got it. Yeah. And Jean, could you please respond to yeah. both me and Elizabeth? So yeah, can you add Drew back into the, it makes communication really difficult when you take Drew off three-way because the point is to keep all the messages, um, keep communication transparent. That's how we got into this little pickle is by going outside the three-way text. So if you could just include Drew, add him back on when you message us, that would be really helpful. Um, 
But yeah, I I saw your text from last Thursday. That's what I was responding to.
Yeah. <laughs> 
Daisy, no. No, Daisy. No. Come here, Daisy.
You got mood, baby. pieces of the the gift basket so it's this nice gray felt basket and you just pop, pop it right open it says no oh, dang it you guys can't see me <laughs> that one, there we go. yeah so it says dog toys and it's uh with a nice thick felt or not felt i'm not sure what it is but um this is the the first. Wait, Austin, where are the where are the handles? What? There's no handles. There's no handles. The package. Hey, here's the pillow. Here's my pillow. Your pillow. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's harder to get here. Surprise. Dang. It'll be easy to find out that you use the other one. Yeah, that's nice and heavy. Ooh, I need it.
Oh my goodness. Hey. Are you Jeff? Yeah. Hey there, come on in. Oh my goodness. Dog. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I surrounded me as soon as I got there. You're like, oh my gosh, Doc, come on. Ow, you got the upside. Come on, yeah, come on. Come on. <sighs> Jeff, you're gonna have to get your stuff out of here. You're gonna have to get your stuff out of here. Come on, Jeff. 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 Come Oh, this is not where we normally keep them. Oh, yeah. right. have them over there, but yeah, there's that's rocky. Um, if you want, uh, you can come in here. I'll give you two. Here with them a little bit, and I will finish this up real fast. Yeah. What do you do? I'm so curious because your wife said that you work midnights. Oh, okay, that makes sense now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 that is very true. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, are you just exploring now, bud? <laughs> You guys live further up north, right? Oh, okay. 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 And then, uh, uh, where do you work? If you're, are you like down in Springfield? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. That was, I see now. That was my mistake. I thought you guys were, like, you work south towards Springfield. between, um, Bloomington and Rockford. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Puppy dogs. Man, that's kind of cool. So, uh, so then, like, uh, when you're, like, on, on duty or on shift, uh, do, like, are you always up or, like, do you sleep? Uh, or I usually do sleep. Oh, oh, that's kind of thankfully, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kind of It'd be a little too rough for me if I was. <laughs> if you were filling for yeah, uh, days of, uh, although I have, I, I have had it. Uh, I uh, I used to work at a nuclear power plant and okay. was in operations, and so we did. It was like 
a week of days, uh, a week of midnights, uh, a couple days off, and then another week of midnights, and then a week of days. And like the rotating shift just yes. absolutely destroyed me. Yes. Okay, not me. The transition is always like killer. What's that? Either way, the transition is killer. <laughs> Just, yeah, transitioning from, from mids to days or however it goes, it's always rough. Okay, puppies. Yeah, he's um he's the smaller one of actually not the smallest, but uh, he uh, I'll bring like his mom and stuff and so you can see like, what, what size this will be. Sorry about this. Just want to get these, get these other guys into their, their usual spot. Now, do you guys have? I can't remember. Do you have another dog? We have another cavalier. Oh, you do. Okay, she, she's five. She's five. She's five. She's five. Okay. She needs a, she's a best friend. She's about what? She needs a best friend. Oh, she's a best friend. Yeah. 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 I think that he will be a very good friend. He. He really enjoys spending like you know rough housing with his, his litter mates. So him having a five year old uh, buddy, not only will she teach him like the rules of the house and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, that's that has been our experience. Is that the the older dogs will teach the younger dogs how to behave in your house. So it makes things a lot easier. Oops, let's all right. Um, were you guys planning on using a potty tray, or were you just like? I'm sure. I'm guessing you guys have a yard for your other dog. We do. We do have a yard, but we'll probably use a tray for just start. It's gonna be so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we did all of our stuff at Tractor Supply. You can get the, the trays. They have smaller ones that are like two foot by two foot. Uh, they're usually like sixteen, seventeen dollars. Okay. Uh, you'll find it in like okay. Tractor Supply, and then this will usually be like in the middle of their store. Okay. But it's just Tractor Supply is branded. Size, horse bag. Yeah. Okay. And we do give you guys um, a gallon size bag of it. For, okay. Some families just go straight to the outdoors. So it just makes the, like, training them a lot easier. Look. All right. Now, all right, pups. You want to move fast? No. Here go, boy, Rocky. Rocky dogs. What's that? Yeah. Usually at this point, um, they, I mean, you probably have experience with, with your first dog. Um, at about seven weeks is when they start to kind of disassociate themselves with the litter. Okay. Um, and they start basically looking to humans or you're looking to people to bond with. Some people call it like imprinting or whatever. Okay. Yeah, and um, so he's at that perfect age where we usually like, once I hit seven weeks, we'll like play with them and take care of them and whatnot, but we don't like spend a whole lot of time with them like as far as, like we don't want them to bond to us too much. So, um, all right, so. Yeah. 
Yes. It, that's that is the name of the game. <laughs> How long have you been anesthesiologist for? I finished my training in 2019. Oh, I guess while it's pretty nice, one thing that we can go over is that.
Okay. 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 Um, so we found some solutions to that sometimes. I think we really should see about the work breaking down and like you know, it all together. Um, but also something I was mentioning that when it is a fresh array of pellets, they almost um, the first couple of times might be um, might be a little slippery because it just needs to go body a few things that can help break up in the shape to help stabilize the rest of them. And so just kind of give it a good stir or give like good like shitty shape and all. Did you cut it off already? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, a puppy tra or a potty training, potty training. Um, instructions or potty instructions. Did I do a search? Yeah, he's a good boy. Um, were you guys uh, wanting a, a blue marble? Like, I don't think. It was just uh, like, just happened to work out. Happened to work out that way. Yeah, we. She's kind of curious about it, looking around, and then you guys have to have something. Yeah, he's gonna. His, he's gonna be smaller too. Yeah, he'll probably be a little bit smaller, but uh, his markings. Uh, who's oh Juno? Yeah, um, it's gonna be very unique. They're gonna be super unique. Joe, you, you go to Papa. Okay. Oh, wow, you got a nice little handful there. Yesterday, yeah. I was just thinking about how, like, that age passing has been really nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fun. Oh, so you got two in, yeah, Daddy says you two in, like, first. Yeah, I'm holding on to the machine's energy. Yeah. <laughs> you climb over, lay down, yeah. just yeah. do it. <laughs> How did you guys do the first one? Did you have like any sort of uh, tricks to do? We we use candy to break. Yeah. 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 That's what we worked for our first one. Our, our middle one. She uh, does not. She knows she wants chocolate. But I don't want to do that much. Not that bad. I think the first one was. Yeah. Um, but it also talks about um, like kind of using them um, as like a the outdoors and a tray and like hybrid sort of fashion. Okay. Um, because as they get older and they just can wait until they're outside again, mm -hmm. and they start holding it when they're indoors. It kind of becomes like a bit of a backup, and it's nice to use like if you're. If the whole family gets sick and you're off working midnight, your wife can pull out the tray for, sure. for Rocky and she can send the kids and sure. they'll just go right, right back to you the tray and yeah. get right back up. Um, you can put it away for six months if you want. Oh, cool. So, uh, one other thing is uh, we had lost Myra's registration forms like when we first got her because uh, she was like a someone was getting out of the business and kind of gave her to us. In the shuffle of everything, mm -hmm. but we just found it. So yeah, you like, finally found them. Finally found everything. So um, if you want, um, once, once he's about a year old, we can re-register. We can get him registered. Mm -hmm. It'll just kind of be like a, a date, like it'll be off a bit. yeah, it'll be off. So like, get a paper. Yeah, oh, yeah, get a paper and whatnot. So you have that. Uh, we know that a lot of people uh, want it. Kind of a birth certificate, um, okay. but it's uh, yeah, it's still look like this, okay. So, and you'll get a um, yeah, as I said, and we'll also give you one of the pedigrees which you need in order to register them. That's a position register, but we'll we can no, that you don't, no, you don't need this. Oh, I thought you did need that. No, we just we give that to them so that the they or charge someone. Oh, yeah, and we do. So, but we can do that, um, once we get it. You know, her registered, and then uh, we'll have to just wait a little bit so we can get a little bit of time under registration. So, 
but um, we can be, yeah, we've got your your contact information. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. Anything else? Um, did you just mention uh, um, about if anything comes up with the bed? Any health issues? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. 72 yeah. hours, yeah. Oh, no, no, not that. Like down the line. Oh, so like, you're right. No, sorry. Like there's genetic testing and everything. Like, you can only test for so much. A lot of, lot of things are more observed. And and then the vet can do testing thereafter sure. to kind of test around it. You're familiar. Um, yeah, yeah. That sort of thing. Yeah, for exactly. So, um, you know, we can test for a few things, but it's only like five things I think that we're able to diagnostically test for. And so if he's five, five or six I'm years old, and you take him to the vet, and if, let's see, any, anything really pops up, but as an example, say the vet here is hurt more, um, don't be afraid to let us know because, uh, you know, we can have a whole group of heart murmurs and not know if they have to tell us. We won't continue reading that mom and dad is the other puppies are having heart murmurs that kind of messages. And so that's just information that will, um, it will come into our decision making when it comes to hearing moms and dads. And so, you know, if, if he goes down with a, a murmur or something else um, that early, especially, um, we would halt the parents. And also, it gives us a chance to notify the other puppies from that mom and dad. Um, to have them checked out the safe side. Yeah. So well, we won't be offended because if anything, it's our it's yeah. our shortcoming. So um, we won't be. Yeah. We're um, we're yeah. yeah. Awesome. All righty. Are we can... ready? Yeah, I think he's ready. He's just kind of like, what's going on? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, he's... Oh, I see. No. Oh yeah, that's a lot of fun. No idea. Oh, they no don't idea. know. Oh, that's so cool. No. Oh, that's so can much you fun. Send us a video. <laughs> well, I'll see if I can get one. All <laughs> chaos breaks loose. <laughs> Maybe Kirsten. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that would be that would be awesome if we could. Yeah, we would love to see it. We love we love updates too. Just as he gets bigger. Oops. Oh. Oh, that's a boy, Rocky, you are going to be. Have been asking for a puppy? Is it like anywhere on the radar? Happen? Maybe he needs a friend. Oh. There we go. All right. Hey, Rocky, you ready? I think he's ready to roll. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for it's 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 very nice to meet you. Yeah, it was nice to meet you. Yeah, nice you. It's awesome here. Oh, <laughs> thank well, you. Way out in the country, it's really nice. It, we love. Yeah. And and like I said, if you guys ever need to board him or even uh, board him and uh, your other dog, we are more than more than well, or we'd, we'd love to do it. So sure, if you guys are ever to go on vacation or something. Uh, hopefully, not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's all right. No worries. That, it's happened a lot. All right, all right. Thank you guys. Yeah. Right, we'll send you all right, yes, please do. Drive safely. Oh, dog eyes. So, 
She's not really fertile anymore, but, um, you know, we don't want to take any chances, especially after going through the whole cycle and keeping her separate and going through all the work. We wouldn't want to have an accidental pregnancy after all that either. Um, and so, but since Pom Pom had her heat cycle, um, December 3rd, 4th, um, started mid November. It's about right. Um. And so we can expect her to go into heat um, around May. However, her heat cycles tend to be a little bit shorter. So um, she'll probably go into heat more like April, um, but we will we'll be breeding her on that cycle. And so as far as the live stream goes, um, probably by this weekend, we'll be moving the stream into the kitchen with all of our other dogs. Um, that's not crazy. Um, whichever puppies we still have, we're gonna, we don't want to leave them in the pen alone is kind of what it comes down to. And so we bring them into the kitchen with our dogs and it really provides a good opportunity for them to learn from the big dogs. They're out, they're no longer in that, um, litter of puppies dynamic. Come in here, Daisy. If mom's in here, can you can you handle it? Um, and so as we go down a couple more puppies, um, you know, they don't have a whole lot to play with, you know, when it comes to other puppies and they like to snuggle at night. So when we get down to two, we bring them in with their mama dogs, um, whether that's Robin or Myra. Um, and they'll sleep, eat, do everything with mama dog. Um, but since the other litter mates aren't there, um, the mama dogs are really good at beginning to treat them as part of the pack. And so they kind of become puppies of the pack. And what are you doing? What are you doing, silly puppy? Who is this back here? This has been, oh, it's Piper. Hi, Piper. Desi, you? Is this Desi? This is Desi. 
Desi loves to give Daisy a hard time. He like finds joy in seeing how much he can upset Daisy. <laughs> he is so funny. That is her butthole. <laughs> Daisy got a bath yesterday. I don't know if you can tell, but her tail's not all like weird curly. It's she's actually got like a nice little cavalier tail. I don't know if you can really see that, but Daisy doesn't ever have a pretty cavalier tail. Um, and so the future of our live stream for like over Christmas and um, like the winter will be um, focused on um, all of our off season dogs. Um, and then as we approach mating um, in our next litters, um, that's what will be actually kind of fun, I think, is we've never really had a chance to feature our pregnant moms um, and like follow their whole prenatal experience. Um, because whenever we've had pregnant moms, we've had litters that we're focusing on. Um, and then we'll bring like the pregnant moms around so that you guys can see them, but we don't really, um, we don't really follow them on the live stream. And so it will be a good opportunity, I think, to follow them on the live stream and you know, see their day-to-day -day progress. Um, I think it's really interesting, but I've always had an interest in like OB sort of stuff. But um, their pregnancies are very, very reminiscent of human pregnancy. Um, you know, they're mammals, so it makes sense. But um, they have similar morning sickness. They have similar mood swings. Um, they just go through a lot of the same sort of experiences that um, our species goes through with pregnancy. Um and then their bellies even follow like a pattern as they grow. Like they start, they, they grow a certain way. Um, and we like to guess how many puppies are in there based on the rate of growth. Um, and so we'll probably have, um, there'll be palm, palm in spring and then Myra in the spring. Myra is going to be paired with Macchiato. And Tom is also going to be paired with Macchiato. Um, Rio won't be ready still for another year about. Because he turns a year old. He looks a lot older, but he turns a year old um, New Year's. Um, so even though he looks older, he's, he's still got a little bit of time. Um, you know, even though he's even though he's not the one carrying the puppies, he's just contributing the, the sperm cells. Still, we still want him to be, you know, a nicely grown adult. Uh, because, um, you know, there's no science behind this part. This is just me speculating. But um, I just, I, I feel like, you know, after when he, when the males are adults, um, I feel like just the sperm quality is probably better. Um, I theorize that um, because one of the things with breeding too young is um, I've, I've read in our books that um, if you breed moms or dads too young, you have a higher incidence or risk of puppies with, um, with issues with um, either malformations or um, incompatibility with life sort of um, conditions. And um, so this is just speculation, but my theory is that the age of the the age of the the parent could have something to do with it because um, you know the, if the dog is younger and they've only been producing sperm for a couple months, their body's still learning how to do it, and um, uh, I'm trying to remember how old Spike was his first litter. I can't remember, I have to ask Drew. Probably could actually do the math and we'll have to look at our litters and see how old he was. Um, but that's always something I've noticed is that one of the reasons given in our books for waiting on the males, you know, the, the females is real, uh, is real obvious, you know, why you wait with the female, you want them to be fully grown for one. Um, with the males, you know, if they're fully grown, it becomes a little less obvious. And I think that, I think that the reasons um, because they talk about issues in the puppies. I think it's has to do with, um, 
just having like immature sperm. <laughs> You want to have nice, healthy, mature sperm. And I think it's so to people, it takes 90 days for like a life cycle of a sperm cell. It's 90 days. And so by the time it's they're producing puppies, by the time it is um, being expelled from their body to the mother dog, um, or I should say people, in people it's 90 days. By the time that the sperm is produced to being able to um, fertilize an egg is 90 days. And and similar, and so likewise, if a man gets a vasectomy, um, he's not going to be completely sterile for at least 90 days. Um, and so if you like kind of translate that a little bit, um, you know, it suggests that, you know, that first 90 days of sperm production, like after hitting puberty, for example, um, you know, it's kind of, I think anyway, it would be, um, you don't necessarily have everything all in right working order because the body is still first, you know, it's its first run. It's first, you got to have a little bit of, um, a little bit of experience there. Again, this is all just my speculation. This is just kind of what I've come to suspect because there's a lot of things that we don't have answers for. We can just kind of, can kind of guess about, but Either way, um, we're going to want Rio to be a couple of years old, just like our moms. So even though he wouldn't be carrying the puppies, he's going to wait as long as Vienna would. Fingers crossed that Vienna keeps growing. She is growing. <laughs> We've been getting a little nervous that Vienna might not be big enough. And um, we want her to be at least um, pom-pom size. And so, and if she's not... Um, if Vienna does not get big enough, if we if she's small enough that we decide not to breed her, we will just spay her and we'll probably keep her since she's Bella's puppy. Um, she's Bella's dog, and she's so attached to Bella. Bella loves her, um, so we'd probably keep her. Ordinarily, if that were the situation, we would spay her and find a family. But because she's an ESA doggy, she'll be staying. So we'll see how it all goes. Yes, hi. Puppies, yes, hi. Puppies, puppies. I know it's also confusing. You've got new friends, and your old friends have left. Where are they? Can I get my bracelet back? Um, and we have, I was trying to think of the puppies we have or the litters we've got in mind for the spring. Oh, and the next summer would be. Yeah. <laughs> Next summer would be Missy's. It might be her last. Drew and I, it'll be her fifth litter. So five is where we start kind of winding back the, the momentum. Um, so depending on how moms do, very case by case sort of situation. We might um, we might do one more litter with Missy after that. We might spank her. It really kind of depends. Um, if she has another litter where it's really big and there's three unhealthy puppies that don't make it, then it'll probably be her last litter. Uh, if she has a great litter where she's, where the puppies are all healthy and doing well and she handles it well, then we'll probably do one more litter. Um, so it really depends with Missy. Um, but she is staring down retirement, so we'll have to prepare a little retirement party for Missy. Oh, and Drew got the we got the handles for our basket. Pretty, I think Drew showed this to you guys earlier, but we got our basket, our dog toy basket. So this is the gray one I was telling you about. This is what all the goodies are going to go into, and we put the handles in it. So it's got the handles now. This is our giveaway basket. Um, we're going to put some. It's going to be the snuffle mat, some lamb chops. We've got a few different sizes of lamb chops, so we're going to put a couple in there. Um, some of the toys that our puppies love because they're awesome toys. And our recent shipment of toys was awesome. We got so many, like it always changes when they send us because it's just a bulk, bulk order. They just pack. And so it's always a little bit different. And our last shipment was really good. So um, we're going to put some of those in there. Probably some um, 
there are various products that we use and talk about a lot, so I'll probably put that in there, like um, the nail clippers we use. Um, that was another thing I thought of. Um, nail clippers, like items that um, were asked were asked about often. Um, that families ask what we use. Um, we're kind of thinking those things. So nail clippers was one I thought of. I got these new clippers that I love. So we're gonna get another one for a giveaway. And then um, from our merch shop, we're gonna be giving away. So the, whoever win, wins the giveaway basket, um, they're gonna get to choose between one of the RBC totes, um, the hoodie, or um, um, a mug. And so we'll let them decide and then we'll send them the link so that they can give um, the warehouse their address and you know their selections for like color and size and all that stuff. Um, and so we'll let the, the, the basket winner choose whether they want the tote, the mug, or the hoodie, and then we'll pick two more winners um, and let the first person choose of the remaining merch items. And then, and then the last winner will get what remains. So I'm really excited because this is the first time we're doing something like this and it's going to be a lot of fun. And then trying to think of ways to like, things we can do for you guys. It's hard on our end to um, give back to you guys. And so we really want to do something that, that shows you guys how much we appreciate your support and being here with us every day. Um, because without you guys, we wouldn't have a community. So...
can't leave dad in charge of bed changing anymore. We can't leave him in charge of it because he forgets all your good stuff. <laughs> I love doing this with you guys. All right, puppies, you ready? You ready? Who wants to blink your monster? Blink it, monster. Blink it, monster. Oh, we missed you, Desi. Ah, there's a puppy. There's the puppies. Who else we got? Who else we got? Who's in there? Who's in there? Is that Maisie? Is that Maisie? Maisie puppy, Maisie puppy, Maisie puppy. Maisie puppy, where are you? Go toward the light. Go toward, there she is. There she is. Go toward the light. Good girl. He's a good girl. Nope, the dogs can hear me outside. Can I do it again? Can I do it again? Can we do it again? Can I do it again? Let's try to catch you this time, Desi. Ready? Ready? Ready, Blanket Monsters? Oh, we, we didn't get Charlie. Oh, okay. Well, we got Macy again. Who's over in here? He has a tricolor over there. <laughs> oh, there. There you are. Oh, you're Finny. Oh, you're Dizzy. You're Dizzy. You're Finny. Maisie. Maisie girl. There she is. Hi, Maisie. Hi, Maisie. She's like, you're making this so hard. Can we do it again? Can we do it again? Can we do it again? We'll do one more time and then we'll let you guys snuggle it. <laughs> this blanket, before this blanket became a puppy blanket, I had made this for Matthew because um, the only place he could like sit and be was laying on the floor. And so whenever we went anywhere, um, we had to we made sure we packed up things that we kept lying people's floors with because he also vomited a lot. And we didn't want vomit to get on um, other people's floors. And so we had like a jillion blankets for Matthew because they they needed to be washed almost as often as puppy blankets. You ready? Ready? You ready? You ready? <laughs> you are so cute, Desi. He's like, I'm just gonna wait for it. Let's just get Desi. Hey, Desi, where are you? Desi, Desi, Desi puppy. Desi puppy. Desi puppy. Go toward the light. Go toward the light. Desi, Desi puppy. Hi, hi, Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. Desi. I don't think he wants to come out. Desi, oh, he doesn't want to come out. He just wants to play. All right, I'll let you guys play with the blanket now. You can play with the blanket. Um, oh, and if anybody, so I'm gonna show you real quick. I don't know why I didn't think to do this. Back when we had um, 
sunshine and she had her little hernia. I was able to show you guys. I should have compared it to a regular puppy belly. But this is what a, a healthy non hernia belly should look like. It should just be flat. Um, in the first couple of weeks, you'll you'll have a little bit of a bump um, just from the healing of their umbilical cord, their belly button. Um, but it should be it should completely flatten out with no. You should be able to press on it without feeling any. Um, if there's a hernia there that's not popping through. When you feel their bellies, you can feel that little spot where, where that solid wall just breaks right in the middle. And you'll feel that it can be a little spot that um, where the wall isn't complete. Huh. Hi, I know, sweetie. Listen, how about we bring dogs in and then you bring the boys in and then you can go outside. Let's do that.
I'm going to put a gender neutral blanket in here, and then I'm also going to put, um, I know this is a boy color, but um, we use the blankets a lot, and so I don't know, I just think it'll be when I see that design.
two. I turned I turned in three count. So so the old keeps saying, I don't know how old is. Thank you. 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 Um, yes. Can I open it up? Um, wait till May's home so that she can use it. Mom? Mom? Why is it Mom, I'm gonna bring my banana dunk. Um, it's, it's determined by if it fits in your back. You can shove it. Oh, 
Thank <laughs> you. 